Hello friends, welcome to our channel Learning and Development. On this particular channel, we'll be posting uh, the learnings related to applied psychology, various tools, techniques, and principles, and how they can be applied uh, in our day-to-day -day life uh, for the self-improvement and also uh, be, be productive in our day-to-day uh, -day, uh, work culture. So today's topic is on understanding stress. Uh, let us start the topic. So this particular topic uh, um, I have chosen today is basically now this is one of the uh, very uh, important feeling we generally uh, come across a kind of uh, emotions we experience. So this is not a new to us, but let us understand this uh, before managing it or uh, anything if we want to do related to stress, we need to understand that first. So let us understand stress. Stress in everyday terms is a feeling that most people have when they are overloaded and struggling to cope up with the demands. So here we understand that it is nothing but whenever there is a demand which is raised on the people, you know, you have to do some task or some activity has come or any situation has come. So uh, because of that, when you start feeling that certain feeling is nothing but your stress. So stress is a feeling. That is first thing we have learned. Let us understand the root cause for it. These demands can be related to the finances, work, relationships, and other situations. But anything that pose a real or a perceived challenge or a threat to a person's well-being can cause stress. Now here I have used the word perceived. See, it may not be the real uh, demand. You yourself have created or you thought. So basically what you think, your thought process is again coming into this picture when it comes to the root cause and uh, any any demand which is raised on you, you know, it could be some kind of a work which has come to you or some kind of a situation where you need to perform some activities could be related to your finance area work or relationships area so what happens is uh, they pose a real or a perceived threat there could be really some challenging thing has to be done or maybe there need not be done any uh, challenging thing but you have perceived it like you have assumed it that this is what is going to happen and this is what I have to do. So the real or the perceived challenge or a threat to a person's well-being can cause stress. So this is the root cause uh, why we experience stress. So the root cause is nothing but demand. Now let us understand, we, do, we definitely would have heard this term positive stress. So stress is not always negative. It has a positive uh, role to play in our uh, life also. So Stress can be a motivator. How? Let us understand. It can, it can be essential to the survival. The fight or flight mechanism can tell us when and how to respond to the danger. See, basically, uh, this stress is again uh, coded in our DNAs during our organic evolution, uh, during the evolutionary path we have followed. So these all uh, feelings have been embedded in our DNAs. So, uh, basically what is happening is uh, there is something called fight or flight response mechanism which is uh, there in uh, our human being uh, or also in the animals or primitive animals also this mechanism is there so basically what is happening is as a human being we are correlating every demand to a flight or a fight response because it is very hard for our mind to understand that it is not a life threat threatening situation uh, but we, the brain or the mind uh, uh, is not able to actually understand uh, the uh, situation and analyze, but it is automatically going into the fight or the flight mechanism and then started feeling this uh, uh, reaction. Positive stress is called U stress. Basically, uh, stress uh, as such uh, can be positive because suppose you are experiencing a positive situation wherein you know you got a new job or you need to go to a new location. So these are all, you feel some kind of an excitement, some kind of a feeling. But at the same time, when you're going to uh, join for a job, you need to carry certain documents with you. You need to do preparation. You need to relocate to a different areas. So that experience, that feelings is also a kind of stress, but it, it gives you a strength to, you know, uh, fight back and, you know, you really feel you enjoy doing this. And because of that uh, particular stress, you are able to, you know, uh, perform better, you are able to pack your bags, you are able to plan ahead and eventually you are able to reach the job in time and perform there well. So this is one of the small example I'm trying to correlate that stress has a purpose in our uh, life and the positive stress is nothing but 
huge stress with this curve you can actually understand what is the difference between huge stress versus distress distress can be uh, the negative uh, stress which we can talk about from this graph you can uh, quickly see that as the demand increases um, what happens to the performance so initially there is a boredom so there is no demand for example you are not supposed to do anything you know you are not engaged in any activity there is no challenges in the life so you feel boredom right so uh, the performance is very down as you move further there is some kind of a demand and your performance also increases uh, within your reach you become efficient and at certain level you can see it is optimum so there is a you know your performance level is really optimum because of this stress that is nothing but huge stress but what happens is over a time you sometime exhaust yourself and you become overloaded as the demand increases uh, you start becoming overloaded and finally there is a, uh, a word you can see anxiety uh, that is very critical point from there you start experiencing something called anxiety and then eventually uh the performance goes down further and the demand keeps on increasing and there you reach a situation where something called burnout you can actually correlate with your uh, uh personal life or your work culture then you will definitely uh, come to know uh, at which stage you are uh, either you are taking stress as a positive manner so it is very important for us to actually know uh, what is our capacity what are our strength and weaknesses where to say no where to say yes what work we have to take what not to take you should be able to uh, understand your own uh, strengths and weaknesses based on that you can uh, very well well in time you can understand that yes this is causing me a stress now it's a time to uh, look back or a stop or you know uh, walk out of the uh, situation or uh, you 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 have to take a break uh, for your uh, busy schedule or you need to some really break and after that after some time you again come back to that particular task so this is all very important now a uh, little bit i'll talk about the fight and flight response basically stress in the body is nature's defense against the predators and dangers if you look back to our ancient you know how the organic evolution has come so basically uh, uh, any predators there's a life threatening situation so immediately what happens is we get into the fight and flight response either we fight that danger or uh, we run away from the danger to save ourselves so that is embedded in our uh, dna codings and uh, this is what we have to understand so it flushes the body with hormones to prepare system to evade or confront the danger so what i am telling is basically because of this particular stress response lot of chemicals lot of hormones uh, are getting released in the body in the entire system and they are preparing us for either of the two either we are uh, preparing ourselves for fighting the situation or running away from the situation so there there's a lot of uh, important role about the various hormones in the body i'll be taking uh, detail uh, videos on the various uh, hormones and their roles in the body in the coming sessions so here i just wanted to brief there's a response and this stress is a very uh, you know you can say a necessary evil kind of thing it has to be there the stress has to be there uh, for our better performance but only thing is that uh, as the demand increases Uh, our performance goes down and we are not able to understand that from positive stress we have slowly moved on to the uh, negative stress now this is very important slide the factors of the environment that triggers uh, this particular reaction that is a reaction of stress are called stressors this is a very important keyword called stressors that you need to understand see this stressors are nothing but you have to they, they could be you know anything which causes you uh, stress situation so let us identify our stressors this is a small activity or an exercise i would uh, request you uh, friends all your viewers to do it uh, these stressors these stressors can affect our body our mind our emotions and our behavior eventually so i would uh, request you to identify our stressors for example why do i get stress on which situation i get stress Uh, it could be you know uh, uh, when you going to the office you are going late uh, in the traffic when you experience lot of traffic jam you get stress or uh, it could be some kind of you know argument with your uh, colleague or with friends or family members you get stressed or suddenly unforeseen situation so it is very very important for us to actually identify the stressors stressors are nothing but these are the agents that cause the stress so that could affect your body mind emotions because of that stress suddenly you get into the worry mode or you you know you were happy and suddenly a event has happened you got some uh, 
no scoldings from your uh, colleague your boss or there is some miscommunication happen because of that you getting blamed and then you taken into your emotion then started feeling bad so there's a lot of and then eventually if it repeat uh, your behavior is also changing towards yourself towards others so it is very very important to identify all our stressors so my uh, quick request is you people can actually uh, identify your stressors note down it and also if you'd like to share in the comment box i'll be really very happy to identify the stressors and based on that we'll also look forward how to uh, manage uh, those stressors because unless you understand your stressors uh, it will be very tough to uh, manage the stress and understand the stress now changes to the body stress slow normal bodily functions so we are all aware about the various uh, drawbacks and you know side effects of the changes uh, that stress causes uh, but mainly i'll you know make you understand that there is something called a digestive system which is the key system uh, in our body that is also uh, have a link with the immune system so these are also very two key systems in our body that get affected from this stress and you understand the importance of immune system as well as digestive system most of the elements and the diseases which you know have been associated uh, have a strong uh, link with the digestive system so you can understand the stress is causing a, a intense damage to our digestive as well as immune system in, in fact the entire system the entire body get affected uh, from the stress but uh, you can understand immediately you start getting the symptoms of your digestive system as well as your immune system getting slow down and what is happening is all the resources can be concentrated on the rapid breathing uh, blood flow alertness and the muscles use these are the changes uh, that happens uh, when you are experiencing the stress uh, based on the situational or based on some kind of you know interactions that has happened and uh, sometimes people start uh, uh, feeling stress based on their thought process also they start worrying in the past or the future events so these are all changes that can you know see in the body there are a lot more changes uh, you know that stress causes that we can discuss um, in a detailed videos later in different sessions so this is what i'm trying to make you understand that definitely when there is a stress slowly you may start feeling that there are some changes in your behavior there are some physical symptoms you have started getting then you can understand that yes you are actually experiencing the negative stress the more stressors we experience the more stressed we tend to feel this is also very important see uh, if the number of stressors are more uh, everywhere we go we have a triggering factor you know in the classroom when we go we have a triggering factor in the office when we are going we have something which triggers so every xyz event triggers the stressor so then it becomes very tough and uh, how we react to the difficult situations will affect how stress affects us and our health so again there's a perception there's something called you know your thought process there's something called your personality there's something called resilience there's something called uh, you have your own self concept uh, how you um, rate yourself what is your stress bearing capacity and all these all affects uh, you as an personality so it is not that the stress uh, the situation which is affecting you your reaction your response what you are responding to the situation will have a real effect on your uh, uh, personality on your health so how we react to different situations or the difficult situations is also very very important now let us understand a brief about acute stress this type of stress is short term and is the most common way that stress occurs generally we do come across you know uh, occasionally this kind of a, a stress so acute stress is often caused by thinking about the pressures of the events that have recently occurred or upcoming demand in the near future so this is very common actually you know in the office you have to submit some report you start feeling stressed down and you you know you start thinking this will happen that will happen so this is a very uh, uh, you know frequent experience type of stress and most commonly it is being experienced by students by uh, working professionals or uh, i mean in any relations also you will be experiencing this kind of stress based on some kind of you know momentary things has happened so this is acute stress which generally we experience so we can understand that if we understand our thought process and behavior so i'll be making a detailed uh, uh, video also on understanding our thoughts so that will also give a lot of understanding how to manage stress episodic acute stress is one uh, the second category where the people who frequently experience acute stress or whose life present frequent triggers of stress have a episodic acute so this if you you are uh, experiencing this acute stress quite often 
no frequency is more then uh, uh, this this is the stage where you need reach the third one is chronic stress this is the most harmful type of the stress and grinds away over a long period this is very dangerous and there we have to be very careful the chronic stress can continue unnoticed as people uh, can become used to it now this is very uh, interesting to understand here that once this uh, stress becomes a part of your personality it is you know you will not understand that you are in a stress so once it can become a part of individual's personality uh, the individual feels that uh, i mean there's nothing wrong uh, it, it, i'm like that only this is what is going to happen this is what i think so it gets in their thought process their attitude changes their belief system changes and you can understand this stress is causing a lot of damage because once your belief system your attitude they are the foundations of your uh, behavior Uh, changes then uh, really this is a difficult situation uh, i have also uh, made a small uh, video on understanding behavior where you can actually see how our belief system and our attitude and thoughts affect our behavior and stress this chronic stress is causing a uh, you know a very severe damage to our basic uh, foundations of our behavior so this is very very uh, important to understand when you are in a chronic stress situation now ways to handle stressors developing some coping strategies before stress hit can help an individual manage new situations and maintain physical and mental health basically you have to equip yourself when you are aware that there is something called uh, you know the situation has come so you have to equip yourself basically when you get stress when there is a demand and you are not able to fulfill it because you don't have that uh, resource or you are not capable or your uh, you you don't believe in your abilities So these are some of the situations which you know uh, can cause you stress so it is always good to develop some kind of a, a strategies before you know the stress gets uh, uh, dominant on you so the best help is self help self help is the best method when it comes to stress management nobody can nobody else can help you this is what i am trying to uh, make it clear here so stress management we have been you know uh, uh, hearing and we all know about it but uh, are we able to do it actually the reason is we need to understand the stress first then once we have a detailed understanding and what are the stressors then obviously the stress management techniques and tools will be helpful for us once we apply them so little bit of stress management i'll just talk here so there's a wide spectrum of techniques and psychotherapies that are aimed at controlling a person's level of stress one of them is uh, cbt that is cognitive behavior therapy wherein you know we really try to focus on our thoughts and feelings and what is the relation between our thoughts and feeling and it has been understood that once you start feeling uh, dull you start feeling low your thoughts are also you know negative thoughts and this is a circle wherein you get trapped you because of your negative feelings you again experiencing uh, the negative emotions negative thoughts will come because of negative thoughts negative emotions will come so uh, you need to change that pattern either you start thinking positive or you start feeling positive by different uh, methods which we can uh, discuss in the near future in uh, coming videos so basically especially this chronic stress usually for the purpose and for the mo motive of improving everyday functioning uh, you need to be very very careful about this chronic stress and this is going to uh, cause a lot of damage so till this stress get you know uh, uh, very heavy on you and you know you it start getting dominating it's always good that you start uh, understanding the stress in a better manner so let us quickly uh, have a quick revision of what we have studied quickly it will you know give some kind of clarity so what once we have understood is stress is a feeling the root cause is the demand we have Uh, learned about the positive stress that is called u stress we have seen this curve and i have talked about fight and flight response and this is very important slide uh, please identify your stressors the agents the it could be a person it could be event it could be thing it could be situation that causes you stress please identify you can do this small activity i'll be really happy to uh, reply to your comments in your comment box you can uh, share the uh, stressors that you feel and uh, also we have talked about uh, the chronic stress which is very uh, critical it can have an adverse damages on our 
digestive system as well as immune system and obviously we need to uh, have some kind of a stress management techniques so I hope this uh, small information about the stress management is uh, clear and uh, hope this would have helped you to understand the stress in a better manner so thank you so much and uh, to bring it to a conclusion i would really request you to identify your stressors uh, try to in a day you try to figure out like what are the situations where that are causing the stress what are the demands that are causing uh, the stress to you and you can list down your stressors and then when you really think and work on that you will be able to see that you are able to eliminate your stressors or you have your uh, totally different perspective the thought process itself has changed so that is also a very good technique to manage stress you start uh, having your perception change your perception from negative attitude to the positive attitude that will also help in the stress management and the best part to manage stress is always the dimensions of the body that i have been talking about in the previous video the physical the mental and the spiritual dimensions of the body need to be in synchronization so that uh, you really enjoy a holistic uh, happiness in totality so thank you so much for any suggestions any comments any counseling sessions anything in particular if you like to uh, talk or discuss about for self help or for growth and learning and development please contact on 9949811068 or you can also drop email on this particular email address and if you are also interested in continuous learning and uh, development programs you can subscribe to this channel you can share this particular video uh, if you feel that uh, somebody who can really get benefit out of it uh, uh, that will help them to you manage the stress which they are experiencing in their life thank you so much thank you